Good day, enthusiasts of AI. Today we are going to create these beautiful Christmas themed coloring book pages. We are going to use Leonardo AI for it. You don't need to install it. You only have to create a free account to use it. And optionally, we're later going to use a free vectorizer um, to clean up the lines of the coloring images, coloring book images. So let's open app.leonardo.ai. You can type it in the URL um, or here into your search engine. So I already have an account, so that's what it looks like when I'm logged in. Every day you have 150 of these tokens and you can create a lot of images with it. Once it goes to zero, just wait for another day and you will have 150 again. So let's go to image generation. And here you can see our previous image generations from older videos. And Let's scroll down and click reset to defaults just so that all the settings are resetted. All right. And I've actually written down everything that we're going to do. So we're going to create um, coloring book images of a red cardinal sitting in a tree, a Christmas themed. And we are going to create a couple of images of this subject. And they are going to look a little bit different. So here I wrote most realistic. Um, let's just start. So the settings and I'm also going to copy this info into the video description box. And if you go to the comments, I will also copy this to the comments. So you can easily review or copy what's written here, what we're going to do. So for the settings, let's just complete it from top to bottom. Um, settings, model, albedo base XL, style none. So the model, you can find it here. Click albedo base XL. If you cannot see it here, you will find it when you click select other model but I can see it here already, Albedo Base XL. And style, I chose none. You can also try it with the Leonardo style. Just see and um, try it out. See what works best for you. This is just an example. The dimensions that are written here are the same ones, if you check under image dimensions, the same ones that are automatically chosen when we use this model. So we don't have to change anything here. But if you want other image dimensions, so for example, if you want a square image where both width and height are the same, um, you can do it here. You can just click here and choose your image dimensions. Or 
you could change it here by sliding the width and the height For elements, we can use the coloring book 0.4. The strength is 0.4. It will make the image look more like a coloring book image. So you go to elements. It's giving us some info on it. Um, we don't need the info. choose coloring book and what you can do if you want to you can choose more than one you can choose coloring book folk art illustration kids illustration whatever sounds good to you there's a new one vintage christmas illustration i actually haven't tried it out much yet but for this example we'll just use the coloring book click confirm and now we are going to adjust the weight how much should your images look like a coloring book image and I think that one is too much so let's do 0.4 which um, we wrote down here 0.4 and let's just copy this prompt and paste it here all right so maybe let's read the prompt a coloring book page white background a cardinal sitting on a fir tree twig surrounded by many stylized snowflakes gently falling around it creating a magical christmas atmosphere ink drawing line art clip art simple line illustration black and white so in this field prompt field we have to tell the program what kind of images it should create so it should create a cardinal, this type of bird, a cardinal um, and so on. So this is what it should create, the topic or the subject of the image. And the rest, what we have here is what type of image should it be? Should it be like a photograph or an oil painting? And in our case, we want a coloring book page so all this what's not selected here right now is um yeah is supposed to tell leonardo ai that we want a coloring book page and we've got some additional words here white background black and white this often helps because um even though we're writing a coloring book page, it wants to add some colors. Um, that's also the reason why we don't write a red cardinal. Um, we're just writing a cardinal or we can even write a white cardinal um, to avoid the program wanting to add the color red to our images. We've got ink drawing, line art, and so on. And these words are also um, are also there to make the program try to make it create a coloring book page. So for the um, for the things to to change here, that's actually all. So we we've. we've did all of this so now we can simply click generate and see what images um, it will give us as you can see we have um, four images selected um, 
it will create four images and the cost was 11 tokens. So we still have 139 for today. Let's see what it came up with. All right, so um, what you need to know is that sometimes or oftentimes not every image will look perfect. So that's why we are creating more than more than one and we're just choosing the one that suits us best. For example, this one has some red color in it. We don't want that for a coloring book image. And then this one, which sometimes happens with animals or birds is that it has three legs. So be careful to check if that happens. The legs and the hands, um, also hands of people, they sometimes get messed up. But if we look at those two on the left side, we have two really beautiful images. The first one is more cartoon-like. That's this one. And the second one is a bit more realistic. You can really see the features of this red cardinal bird. Let me know what you think about these images in the comments. What we could do now is click prompt magic and click here for prompt strength. Let's just turn it down a bit to point to save. And now, oh, it's much more ex expensive or um, not in terms of money, but in terms of tokens. So it's 21 now because we're using the prompt magic. But let's just click it and see how different the images look. It takes a couple of seconds to generate the images or to create the images. All right, it looks so different. Um, none of them have the any color in it or in them. And they all have two legs and feet. That's good. This one looks a bit um, a bit bigger. So, but all of them, like I mean the bird. <laughs> but it's so beautiful if you look at the lines. I think it's very suitable for a coloring book um, page. But what I think is a bit sad like a, a, a disadvantage that very often the lines are not closed here so if that's bothering you then I'm sorry <laughs> I don't know how to change it but all in all quite beautiful This one looks a bit scary, but um, this one's nice. So my favorite is this one. But if you um, wanted to have more options, you just have to click generate again. It will generate uh, slightly different images. So you'd have more options to choose from. Maybe let's check out the next um, type of image for this red cardinal in a tree. Let's go ahead to the next one. I actually just tried out image 2. It didn't work perfectly. It works better with the prompt magic on, but there 
are not um, the differences to the first um, image aren't too big so we can just omit this one let's go ahead and try the third option so the model and the style are still the same um, and the dimensions as well so we're only going to change coloring book to 0.7 and using kids illustration at 0.2. So let's go ahead and do that. Coloring book to 0.7 and let's add the kids illustration element. Click it, confirm and change it to 0.2. Having the coloring book on 0.7, a quite strong weight, will make, um, this is what I tried out earlier, will make these lines much more connected. So sometimes, um, as mentioned before, the lines are not going through. So we will lose a lot of details but it will make it more coloring book like um, let's go ahead and see the the other things we have to change so, so the prompt is a little bit different let's just copy it and paste it in here and there's a negative prompt let's Click this one, add negative prompt and paste it here. Um, let's first see what the images look like with the prompt magic off. So let's hit generate. Okay, that's it. Um, so this first one, we cannot use it because of the black background. And then of the other three, I think this one looks best. Yes, it's very cute and um, coloring book like but very simple if you want more details you should just um, decrease the weight here change it to 0.5 or in this one maybe also to, to 0.1 play around with it maybe um, for now let's hit generate again let's see what the next four images will look like. You can regenerate as or generate as many images as you like until the 150 tokens run out each day. So here we've got one of the four that's again with a dark background and then we have um, three different options that we could use. And here it added some snowflakes and stars to the background. It missed to do that. Oh, it actually did that also here. Yeah. Let's turn on the prompt magic and see the difference. I'm quite curious. Yeah, what kind of coloring book images do you prefer? The more um, illustration-like ones, the more um, simple ones, or the ones with more details? Let me know if you want to. And also, are you watching this to create coloring book pages for yourself or your family, your child or someone you know? 
or um, are you looking to sell them online? I'm curious. Let's look at the results. Um, actually, I don't like this one. This is way too too much. Just it's a bit too full, I, I think. And here the the foliage is looking like it's part of the bird, so that's not correct, not good. But the other ones are quite nice. This one looks like a flower. Oh, I don't like that one too much and that one neither. Um, let's do the same and go a bit lower with the weight. So let's try 0.5. And what about the kids illustration? Maybe Maybe let's leave it on. All right, so some of them look so good, but others, this one, this seems to be always one that's a bit messed up, but that's okay because it's completely for free and we can um, create so many images and just choose the right one. This one looks great, but um, be careful with the feet again and the claws, like there's free it sometimes happens. This one is the one that's a bit messed up. That's very beautiful. So we've got the, the cardinal. Or this foliage around it and the snow. This line here is, yeah, we could erase it. We could uh, erase it in any program or in the canvas editor of Leonardo AI. So if there's just one small detail and the rest of the image looks great, then you can simply remove it, erase it. All right, and then there's this one. So you can create many different images depending on, on your prompt and on the elements you're choosing here. Let's do the vectorizing vectorizer now. So first go to Google or your search engine and look for vectorizer.ai. You can also type it in the URL. It's this one. And drag your image into this field or uh, click here to search it from your computer. I've saved it. I've called it one, two, three, four, five. So let's um, do it with a image number one. I've just dragged it in there right now. It's uploading, processing, fetching, and now it's done. It's so quick. Here you can see a side by side comparison. And on the left, we've got our original image from Leonardo AI. It's already looking amazing, but um, there's not only the color black here. There's also some kind of gray and some lines are 
crisper, cleaner, sharper than others. So what the vectorizer is doing, it's turning everything into black and it's removing some of the like fuzzy, not sharp lines. Um, it's also removing some of these tiny gray snowflakes, but that's okay. Let's download this. Um, click here. Here uh, you have a lot of other settings. You can play around with this. But um, these standard settings are quite good. On the left side you can choose the file format. Uh, we uploaded a JPEG image, just the picture type image and we vectorized it which means we turned it into um, not a pixel type of image but we turned it into a vector uh, or raster <laughs> type of image. So this is the file um, format ending SVG. If you for the purposes that you're using these coloring book images, if you need an SVG, you can keep it at that. It means you can increase the size of this image infinitely without losing any sharpness. So maybe some publishers or depending on what you're doing with the images, maybe SVG is needed so you can keep it like this. Um, if not, if you want a normal um, image, you can choose PNG. Let's just do it. So you can choose between those and download. I went ahead and downloaded it. Here you can still see the unvectorized image from Leonardo AI. Now let's click the vectorized one. Look at the difference. Yeah, so it's much cleaner, much more suitable for a coloring book. Um, I hope you like this video. Here's the difference again. All right. I hope this video was interesting. I would wish I want to wish you a nice day, nice um, festivities in the next days. And of course, this video is um, because it's coming out uh, directly before Christmas. It's too late to use this video to create images to sell for this for this Christmas but you can still um, copy some of the techniques that we used here like um, like these words here in the prompt or um, or the settings that we used um, in order to create coloring book images for other holidays like for example um, Easter, Valentine's Day, anything. Right, have a nice day, morning or evening and see you next time.